Hello YouTubers, today I have a colorful music spectrum LED display. So it is a device that displays the or decomposes the music or any sound to its essential frequencies and display it on bars here, colorful bars here. So let's have a look on what the website says about it. So it's 32 by 64, I believe pixel. Colorful music spectrum LED display dot matrix board. Okay, so we have here the dot matrix and we have also the board and it costs according here to the website It's about forty three point nine nine dollar from Banggood So uh, this one can work on 5 volt The font is small. I know So can work on 5 volt and can consume uh, 2 ampere or more according to the bars that are turning on light and uh, it's colorful and uh, a microcontroller that is being used here in this device it's STM32F103 which is a popular microcontroller based on ARM controllers and I think there are something else about how we control the colors I will show it to you uh, in practically okay this video is sponsored by JLC PCB the biggest PCB manufacturer from China who manufactures 10 PCB with the mention of 10 by 10 centimeter for just two dollars the new thing now with JLC PCB you can choose any color and the price will stay as two dollars I use their services all the time for all kinds of PCBs small big multi-layer flexible throw hole and SMD PCBs with different solder mask colors and shapes so this one is the board and here's the STM microcontroller I believe these are like shift registers or logic controller 74HC 245D okay and this is here the input for the music or any sound and the power supply these buttons are for I think controlling the uh, color now looking back at this board the dot matrix board we have here many ICs and these ICs are shift registers to uh, enable the controlling the dot matrix and each lid in the dot matrix individually and here's the power rail I think it should handle at least 2 to 5 ampere okay so before we start powering up this device now and looking at it so at least we want to identify the music that we are going to give so what's the plan today I, I'm, I'm going to give here some music and see how it works this one and then I will give it a single sine wave at each frequency and look at what is the minimum and maximum frequency that this device can show okay so I will turn the power on and in in addition to feeding in the, the music to this device I also attach here a speaker to the same input just to, to, to listen to the music as well okay so here's the first the first line in this device is on now and when I press on let's check how it works now yes it started let's okay let's move it a little okay now it's working yeah and very colorful and I think the color can be controlled by these two buttons here so let's check them yes okay so yeah the top bar now is controlled by one of these buttons the top of each bar and the next one is controlling the bars itself okay very good keep it like this nice and here is the range of low frequencies and these are the high frequencies okay very nice to be honest okay let's go for another test now I have downloaded uh, 
uh, an application is called function generator and I can uh, use this function generator to generate many frequencies uh, and can be sine wave or square of or any other other things so let's now try to generate one kilohertz okay it's one kilohertz now and yeah it it seems that I need to reduce the sound a little bit okay it seems according to the display now this this bar is about one kilohertz okay let's now move to two kilohertz yeah this bar is now two kilohertz now we have we can write three kilohertz and three kilohertz this one is three kilohertz and we can move actually to another look 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 okay so what's the last one last one is about look at this about eight kilohertz and I can make it eight exactly now eight kilohertz now so that is eight kilohertz that's one is one kilohertz so from one kilohertz to eight kilohertz if I made it like ten kilohertz so reduce the sound 10 kilohertz so nothing is displayed there is a sound yes but nothing is is on because the range of frequencies is out of this uh, display so back to uh, 4 kilohertz so this bar now means it's 4 kilohertz there's a frequency of 4 kilohertz coming on okay so I can I can move this one like this and like this it's very nice to be honest you can control the display according to the frequency you are feeding in and you can control the amplitude as well so if I if I make the amplitude more and more some uh, adjacent frequencies also come in okay because I believe the sound or some saturation or the processing there so I believe it's kind of an algorithm is called FFT and this FFT decompose every sound or all sound to its essential frequencies now let's try something um, interesting let's go for 1 kilohertz so here's the 1 kilohertz okay and here is the sign of 1 kilohertz what about feeding square wave according to the Fourier transform square wave has many frequencies the first frequency will be 1 kilohertz sine wave and the other frequencies will be harmonics and these harmonics will be at three uh, times the essential frequency and five times the essential frequency seven times and nine times and so on so let's try this one yes it is okay so now let's make make this a little bit lower so this is one kilohertz this one is three kilohertz five kilohertz and uh, seven kilohertz and it's seven kilohertz because the last one is eight okay so it's really like spectrum analyzer okay it works like spectrum analyzer now let's check something interesting as as well with the other signals so this is the harmonics coming in with the square wave what about triangle and let's let's compare here's the triangle look at the triangle it's very close to the sine wave okay if I increase it a little bit okay some harmonics now start appearing but if we compare it with the square look at the square square is really high harmonics okay and triangle is less harmonics okay what about the sawtooth okay uh, small harmonics but at different frequencies now this is one kilohertz two kilohertz three kilohertz four five six seven okay so that means that it's harmonics or the other frequencies appears at f and 1f 2f 3f f uh, 5 4f and 5f and 6f okay so all these frequencies appears now so that means now this one is the odd frequencies with the triangle wave and this so tooth has uh, even and odd frequencies okay appears um, as harmonics and here's the sine wave again so this is a nice test to be honest for for this display and I can use it as spectrum analyzer as well okay it seems very interesting